Okay. Y'all gonna have to forgive me. Um, today is a no makeup day and no weave day. And I'm still cute in my Whitney Houston voice. I still look good. No, I'm just kidding. That's that's not what this video is about. I'm just being silly. Um anyways to this this video I was about to set today, but obviously I posted the video today already and this is another one. This one is about the best sex. Never instead of ever, I'm saying never. Um just wanted to bring up a point. I know that a lot of relationships are based on sex. That's a no. That's a big 10-4. That's a no. 187 that idea. Kill it. Kill it dead. That is 98% of the time. Now I'm going to take it down. 95% of the time, that is the initial reason that most people get together with other parties. Male, female interaction. That is the biggest part of why people get together. Sex. Your initial encounter with somebody is visual. And, and people tend to start thinking sex. So they continue to proceed with a relationship that is going to be disastrous from there. You should be friends with your mate. That way, if the sex declines or changes for any reason and it is no longer the best sex ever, you'll still be attracted to that person because you have other things about the person that you're attracted to besides the sex. I've seen so many people in so many relationships deteriorate to dust because of sex. I've seen people let themselves be mistreated in the most disrespectful ways all because they wanted to keep having sex with that person. That is so ridiculously belittling and disrespectful to yourself. You, I don't even think you can consider the other person disrespectful because you're disrespecting yourself. Um, Sex is not on the top of my list of things that attract me to a person. Um, you have to have a beautiful, beaming personality exuding from your person. Um, is it important? Yeah, it's important. But it's, it should be far from the top of your list because what do you have? If that's at the top of your list, what do you have if something goes wrong there? You have nothing. And that, that is why a lot of relationships end so drastically and dramatically. It's because things are turning out for the worst. You know, when the lust disappears, they looking for what else is there, what's left. And the answer is there's nothing there because sex was at the top of your list. It was in the middle of your list. And it was at the bottom of your list. In fact, the whole list was about sex. And so... When the lust disappears, there's no interest left to hold you to that person. So I say, best sex never. Put it somewhere like in the middle of the list. That way other things like their personality, um, your compatibility with the person. Um, where are they spiritually? Like, you don't have to go to church to be with God. God should be everywhere that you go. So don't look at a person as if, oh, he doesn't go to church or she doesn't go to church. Everybody comes to God in their own time, in their own way. But just because you don't attend church does not mean that you can't be with God. So where's the person at spiritually? Where are they mentally? Where are they emotionally? Those are important things. You, those are, that's the glue the the some the mortar that holds the bricks together your foundation should be trust and then you build everything if you put bricks together with nothing to hold them together you got nothing you could bump into them and knock them over whatever but i'm just saying don't make sex the most important thing about your relationship because it's going down from there and i promise you it's going down so don't be surprised if it is 
the most important thing to you and your mate. Don't be surprised when things go down from there. They take a hard left on the road to relationship nowhere. Because that's where it's going. To relationship nowhere. Um, so anyways, till next time. Toodles.